Okay, let's unpack this. We've got a pretty interesting press release here. It's announcing a uh, strategic partnership. Mm -hmm. And it seems to be diving headfirst into, well, one of the biggest tech challenges coming up. Securing our digital world against quantum computers, the players, BTQ Technologies, and QPerfect. That's right. And for this deep dive, our job really is to get to grips with this announcement using the source material we have. We need to figure out who these companies actually are. Yeah. What are they bringing to the table? Exactly. What tech are they combining? And, you know, what do they realistically think they can achieve here? It's all about this race for quantum advantage, especially for security. Right. So this deep dive is for you listening to get up to speed quickly on what this BTQ QPerfect collaboration might mean for building that quantum secure future we keep hearing about. Okay. So let's start with the why. What's the problem they're trying to solve? The BTQ release mentions, and this is a direct quote, the urgent security threat posed by large-scale universal quantum computers. And that phrase really nails it. The big worry, the core fear, is that once we have these large, stable quantum computers and people are making real progress, mm -hmm. they'll be able to run certain algorithms, like Shor's algorithm, that can basically shatter the encryption we use today, you know, for everything. Online banking, secure messages, government secrets. Everything. Everything. So this partnership, they're positioning themselves right there, saying we're building the defense against that future threat. Okay, so who are the defenders here? First up, BTQ Technologies. Uh -huh. What does the source tell us about them? Well, it describes BTQ as a global quantum tech company. And their focus is very specific, securing mission-critical networks. Right. They highlight BTQ's deep expertise in uh, post-quantum cryptography. So that's the development of new encryption methods, methods designed from the ground up to resist attacks from both classical and quantum computers. Future-proof encryption. Exactly. And they're also strong in quantum algorithms themselves, not just the crypto. <laughs> and the source mentions something specific they're working on quantum one-shot signatures. Yeah, that sounds really interesting. The release calls this potentially a bedrock technology, foundational maybe for secure quantum communications or even a future quantum internet. So what is a one-shot signature, roughly? The idea, as I understand it from this, is to use quantum mechanics to create verification methods that are inherently secure because of physics, essentially. And like the name says, you use them once. One time, then it's gone. Secure. Sort of self-destructing, maybe. Yeah. They mention using concepts like self-destructing quantum keys and post-quantum secure verification. It seems aimed at plugging holes, especially in digital transactions, maybe blockchain. Okay. And they've got the people, too. They mention having a team of leading post-quantum cryptographers, so deep expertise there. All right. So BTQ brings the crypto brain power, the quantum algorithms, the what you need for quantum security. Who's their partner? Q-Perfect. Q-Perfect. They're described as a leading company in neutral atom quantum computing, based in Strasbourg, France. Neutral atoms. That's right. one specific way to build a quantum computer, right? Exactly. There are several approaches, superconducting circuits, trapped ions, photonics. Neutral atoms is another one. Q-Perfect is a newer company founded just in 2023. Pretty recent. Yeah. But they've already got some recognition. The source mentions an iLab Grand Prix award. Their specialty seems to be the practical side of making quantum computers work. How so? They focus on quantum emulation, basically mm -hmm. simulating quantum computers, quantum software development, and crucially, quantum error correction, all tailored for these neutral atom systems. Error correction is huge in quantum, isn't it? Uh -huh. Because qubits are so fragile. Absolutely essential. Qubits lose their quantum state very easily due to noise. And QPerfect's key innovation, according to this release, is something called the Quantum Logical Unit, or QLU. QLU. Okay, what does that do? Think of it as like a specialized translator and accelerator designed just for neutral atom quantum computers. The source says it helps with that vital quantum error correction. So it takes the high level plan for a quantum computation, like a quantum circuit diagram, and turns it into optimized low level instructions that the actual neutral atom hardware can understand and run efficiently while also managing the errors. So it's the bridge between the abstract algorithm idea and the messy reality of the hardware. You got it. And their main product right now, MIMIQ, is described as the first layer of this QLU. 
MIOQ. Yeah, and the press release makes a pretty bold claim about MIOQ. It says this emulation platform is better, faster, more accurate, more flexible than traditional simulators, and even the current generation of actual quantum computers for testing algorithms. Wow, okay, so they're saying their simulation is powerful enough to really develop and check quantum software properly, yeah. even before we have perfect large-scale quantum computers. That seems to be the angle, providing the tools to build the software now. Okay, so let's put it together. BTQ, the quantum security algorithms, especially these one-shot signatures. Yeah. Perfect. The specialized tools, the emulation, the error correction know-how for neutral atom quantum computers. And now they formed a strategic partnership. Right. And the core goal, they state, is pretty ambitious. They want to co-develop next generation post-quantum secure technologies. Okay. And here's the key bit specifically designed to be powered by neutral atom quantum computers. Ah, so it's not just theoretical security. They're aiming for solutions that are practical on a specific type of hardware. Precisely. It's about merging BTQ's crypto and algorithm design with QPerfect's QLU, their emulation, their error correction expertise for neutral atoms. And the big aim is? The really interesting part. They want to deliver fault-tolerant quantum algorithms. Fault-tolerant, that's the dream, right? Making them work despite the noise and errors. It's the absolute holy grail. Current quantum computers are noisy, in ice q era noisy intermediate scale quantum building algorithms that actually give reliable answers even when the underlying hardware makes mistakes that's probably the single biggest hurdle to making quantum computers truly useful for complex problems right the difference between a blueprint and a working machine and what specific applications are they targeting with this fault tolerant approach the release lists quite a few critical areas Quantum secure transactions, those one-shot signatures again, smart contracts, decentralized identity, quantum money, and secure communications. That's, well, that's a huge chunk of our future digital lives, potentially. It really is. Areas where security failures would be catastrophic. And they have specific objectives laid out in the partnership. They do. The source details three key things. First, Jointly design, develop, and test practical quantum algorithms for these one-shot signatures, with a focus on making them run efficiently on neutral atom hardware. Efficiency making it actually usable. Always key. Second, co-develop the fault-tolerant approaches for these signatures and related apps. And they stress something important here, prioritizing minimal use of quantum resources. Minimal use. Oh, okay. right. What does that tell us? It tells us they're being very realistic. They know quantum hardware, especially early fault-tolerant hardware, won't have infinite perfect quibits or gate operations. Resources will be precious. So they're designing for the near-term reality, not some distant sci-fi computer. Seems like it. Uh -huh. Designing for scarcity, you could say, which makes sense if you want practical results sooner rather than later. Okay. And the third objective? To deliver something concrete, a blueprint and an actual prototype for quantum one-shot signatures that are compatible with these upcoming neutral atom machines. A tangible step. Got it. The source also breaks down the roles a bit. Yeah, QPerfect provides the research resources, the access to their tools like MIMIQ. The platform. Right. And BTQ leads on the algorithm design and translating these advanced crypto ideas like the one-shot signatures into something you can actually implement. Makes sense. And they share some tasks. Uh-huh. Planning, patent applications, scientific publications, they'll collaborate on those. There's also a timeline mentioned, which seems quite soon. It does. They're targeting a formal implementation roadmap by June 30, 2025, and aiming to negotiate further implementation agreements by that same date. So depending on when you're hearing this, that's either just happened or is about to. They're not messing around. Seems like they want to move fast from this initial agreement to a concrete plan. We also get a little insight from the CEOs in the release. Olivier Roussy Newton from BTQ calls it a key milestone for achieving quantum advantage. He sees it opening doors for new applications, secure transactions, crypto, quantum e-money. Yeah, and Philip Blot, the QPerfect CEO, frames it as a turning point in applied quantum cryptography. He talks about enabling powerful real-world quantum applications by tailoring their fault-tolerant architecture for BTQ's security goals. It connects their hardware focus to BTQ's application focus. Ex and there was that interesting detail about the QPerfect CEO, Philippe Blot, being involved in that France quantum roundtable. Right, under the high patronage of President Macron with the French Minister for the Armed Forces present. What does that tell you? 
Well, it adds context. It shows this isn't just some obscure tech venture. Quantum technology, especially its security implications, has high-level government attention in places like France. It signals strategic importance. Okay, so let's try and sum up this deep dive then. What have we got? We've got a very focused partnership. BTQ brings its quantum safe crypto expertise, particularly these quantum one shot signatures. Mm -hmm. QPerfect brings its specialized tech for neutral atom quantum computing, the emulation, the software tools, the error correction focus via their QLU. And together. Together, they're aiming to build practical, fault tolerant quantum security solutions, solutions designed to run efficiently using minimal resources on future neutral atom hardware addressing that big quantum threat to our digital world. So it feels like a concrete step, moving quantum security theory toward actual hardware-specific implementation. Yeah, it's one specific route being mapped out in that race to stay ahead of quantum code breakers. It shows active development, not just waiting for perfect hardware. So what does this all mean for you, listening? Well, this collaboration is a window into how companies are proactively trying to build security for a quantum future. They're tackling the hard engineering problems now, error correction, resource efficiency, to make these advanced ideas work on real machines. It really is a front row seat to see how the theory meets the practical challenges. Mm -hmm. Which leads us to a final thought for you to consider. If BTQ and QPerfect do succeed with this approach, creating practical, fault-tolerant quantum one-shot signatures for neutral atom systems using minimal resources, mm. how might that actually change things? Yeah, think about secure digital ID or signing contracts or even digital money. Could it look fundamentally different? And what does that laser focus on minimal resource use really tell us about the state of quantum hardware today and what it might take to build truly useful applications in the near future? Something to keep an eye on as this all unfolds.